Uh, greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well. And my name is Ingrid, and I will be doing your a reading for July 22nd to the 28th. And let's see what the cards have for you. Two cards came out. The number 11 could be important. Uriel, the color red. You might need to be wearing red this week, Taurus. Being around a red flowers, just noticing uh, red, uh, because red is like the stop sign, uh, the stoplight. So something in terms of the red could say you need to take time to look at your emotions and do some healing and have a devotion practice, and maybe to do a meditation practice so you can integrate whatever it is you're emotionally healing from. And you will maybe have support in your heart this week, uh, feeling that you have this guardian angel around you. And it's coming because of, of the number six, Michael, the color blue. So red and blue could be very important this week. Uh, you're studying. Uh, you're getting information. You're taking time out uh, to be wise, honest, trustworthy, and observant. As you're healing your emotions, you might need to study, to take time to read about uh, the situation you're in, to get more information so you can uh, take a wise approach, be honest with yourself, Taurus, uh, to be um, a person that others will say you're trustworthy and you're being observant about what is going on this week. Be keenly observant, especially about red uh, and blue colors around you. Wow, well, uh, this is how you come into the reading, Taurus. Uh, this is a, a card of the earth, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, uh, a beautiful card where you're riding on your horse. Uh, but this is a horse uh, that um, moves slow and steady. And that's how you will win the race. And things are coming together. You see the horse is made up of these uh, leaves. So something is uh, growing, coming together for you. Um, but it's taking time. You need to work hard, be very diligent. And uh, this Knight of Pentacles is trustworthy. They're observant. They're doing, they see what needs to be done and they do it. Uh, so you've been working hard on this, Taurus, and congratulations. And what is coming now is the Queen of Wands. Well, uh, the Queen of Wands is going to challenge this Knight of Pentacles to maybe start moving a little quicker, to have more confidence, to be more passionate, to use more energy, uh, to be more intuitive, um, less, you know, looking at the facts, at the practical situation, and having an inspiration this week. And that inspiration is going to uh, come in the form you might be seeing these little insects around you. Um, you could be seeing peacock feathers or a sunflower. But this is uh, coming to help you uh, move forward, get going. You're very attractive right now at this time, Taurus. And um, you have the Page of Pentacles. But I think in your reading yesterday, uh, you had the Page of Pentacles at the foundation. Um, of your reading uh, for the full moon, which is tonight in Capricorn. So this is uh, accentuating the fact that you have this new opportunity. You need to uh, have this maybe young energy because the page and then the night, you need to, uh, at the foundation, uh, work on uh, this opportunity uh, to really uh, get information, to study, uh, to, uh, as we say, to be... Um, to be careful not to be fearful about this opportunity or don't let disappointments derail you um, to uh, be so guarded and self-doubting because you're going to um, take this opportunity and learn. Uh, there could be someone who is very uh, a little bit younger than you uh, or you could be feeling this young energy of starting this something new, this opportunity. And it's coming because of the Nine of Pentacles. Well, in the recent past, you've felt this independence uh, coming over you. You have worked hard um, as you had the Knight of Pentacles and the Page. The work has been uh, growing financially for you. And you have uh, come into a sense of luxury, of beauty. This is a Taurus card. 
And look how this uh, woman is dressed. Pleasure, luxury, adornment, fruition. And that is all of these qualities you have seen in the recent past. So you know you have everything you need already. And you've worked hard at this, slow and steady, um, to accumulate and to go after uh, with this bird. This is, um, in a lot of the tarot, this bird is a, um, a <clears throat> falcon. Uh, it goes out to a point that you are suggesting. So you're needing to focus, and you have been focusing recently. Um, and that's the influence, this focus on knowing how much abundance you do have. Uh, the riches, you've been spending time in luxurious settings, um, in nature, uh, and you're uh, feeling very satisfied with that uh, because you're now seeing that you um, are having to use that infinity sign, um, that there are infinite resources maybe that have come from your recent past of this abundance, of this wealth, of this uh, fruition of what you worked on, and now you want to take it out. Um, a new um, energy to be flexible. Maybe you're having to balance uh, work and play or two jobs right now, but there's something that you're seeing um, from your higher powers this week about juggling, flexibility, change. Um, and it has to do with uh, seeing what you have accomplished, enjoying the fruits of your labors recently, and now you're ready to keep on uh, moving this, uh, changing. Uh, and it's coming because you are moving into a time uh, right now where you will be working very uh, hard on your craft. And this craft could also be involved with um, transformation. You're working on a craft uh, that is uh, artistic, and it's also a part of your own transformation. And you see, you have the Queen of Pentacles has, I mean, the Queen of Wands has uh, the uh, little bugs here, and you have the butterflies. So it's saying perhaps uh, you're moving into uh, more confidence, more charisma, more passion, more energy, using your intuition, and you're working and getting recognition, and you're going to get a, some abundance coming in financially from your work. You could be working, um, maybe this is also a card of the workaholic, so maybe this week to be aware of uh, this, the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, because this is showing um, you've worked very hard, and that is what this abundance, this fruit of your labor is coming from. And you are seeing this as the page of swords. You're getting information. You're spying. Maybe you're uh, speaking to others. Uh, you're communicating. Something you're learning. Something you're working on. You might need to be writing this down, exploring through books or getting help uh, mentally to think through this. Uh, this is, uh, you see, both of these cards are about book study. Um, interesting. This week is coming in to be observant, to be trustworthy, to uh, keep moving towards your goals uh, of creating and to grow your uh, wealth. And there is an influence from the environment or someone important to you is saying, um, is bringing up the fact that you have a lot of choices, a Taurus this week. There are a lot of opportunities. Usually this is, um, there are seven cups, but it's interesting this card has the seven stars. So you're pointing toward a particular star you're gonna go after this week. And it's because that is what's being offered from your environment. Someone is giving you a choice. And it has to, to do with something you've been thinking about, studying, learning about getting information on and your hope and fear is justice the truth will come out this is the right outworkings of karma a legal situation could be coming in your favor um, the truth prevails you're finding balance and then uh, your uh, advice is to rest to take it easy maybe you've been uh, working too hard 
on this craft and to back off a little bit and to uh, take time to meditate, to heal. Once you've seen that balance, um, once you've gotten the truth uh, that has come in, and you have this sense of wise, honest, trustworthy, observant. And so you're going to heal and take time out for your emotions, to do emotional healing, to be devoted to your own healing, to your rest, to your renewal, and to tap into your higher powers through a prayer and meditation. And that is what I have for you, Taurus, this week, a, a very powerful reading. And you will be uh, feeling this abundance, uh, this uh, luxury around you recently. And you're going to translate that into uh, this craft that you will work on and will make you very successful. But take time out this week to breathe, to relax, to heal, uh, especially to heal your emotions. And you could be seeing, uh, as again, uh, butterflies or, or insects that will say you're on the right path. Uh, feathers, you might be seeing a white feather in your dream. And that's just to renew your faith that you're on the right path uh, uh, toward this uh, destiny of um, passion, uh, productivity, confidence. And that's on its way this week for you, Taurus. And thank you for subscribing to my channel and leaving comments and giving me a thumbs up. And you know I love you, Taurus, and all of you out there. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I so hope you enjoy your week ahead. See you next time. Bye-bye.